Gina from Haunted Flower and last night I went to a screening of Youth in Revolt. Youth in Revolt is based on a book series written in the early 90s called Youth in Revolt, The Journals of Nick Twisp by C.D. Payne. The story chronicles the adventures of Nick Twisp, a teenager obsessed with sex and girls but has no experience with either. His parents are divorced and after his mom's boyfriend cheats some sailors out of some money, he ends up leaving town with them and meets Sheenie Saunders and falls in love. He performs numerous misdeeds and criminal acts in order to be with her, and to justify these with his shy, unassuming personality, he has to invent a dark alternate persona, Francois Dillinger, who wears a mustache, color contacts, and smokes cigarettes. Clearly, the hook of the movie depends on the alternate personality angle, and it's what the trailers focus on, but really, it isn't used as much as I thought it would be in the movie. He just kind of shows up one day, and we still spend most of the movie with Nick Twisp, who is the spinning image of Michael Sarah in every other movie. Michael Sarah as Nick Twisp is an excellent casting choice given the dialogue and the style of the story. He's the first guy I would pick for the role, and he delivers the clever repartee with a straight face. You really need Michael Sarah for this type of role. He's perfect for it. It's what he does best. I went into this movie hoping that with an alternate personality, though, we might get to see what else he could do, and I found that I'm still left wondering what else Michael Sarah can do. I really enjoyed his performance. I like this nerdy guy. He made me laugh a lot. But I just feel like this is the extent of the talent we can see from Michael Sarah because he hasn't taken any big chances on trying to do anything distinctly different. There are differences between Nick Twisp and Francois Dillinger besides just the obvious physical ones. He does move more confidently, he leads with his chest, he speaks deeper, more directly, more abruptly. If this story wasn't based on the book series, I could have seen this whole idea being cut completely and would have liked to see Nick Twisp gain assertion on his own. You know, get his own confidence and not rely on a fake person for a crutch. From what I can tell, this movie took some big detours from the book, just mainly used it as a starting point, point of reference, and mishmashed all the other events together to include them, and what resulted did not always make the most sense. I really enjoyed the acting from the supporting actors. You had Gene Smart, Zach G from The Hangover, Steve Buscemi, Fred Willard, Ray Liotta, and this guy, Adhir Kalyan. I don't even know if I'm saying it right. This guy played a friend that Nick makes at school who partners with him for some shenanigans, and he was a really nice surprise. I liked him a lot. All these actors are really funny, and they each contributed something unique. Every time a new one was introduced, everybody in the audience kind of had to snicker a little bit because it was like, oh my god, it's that guy. I mean, you have a lot of funny people in the room together. It's pretty funny. The best entrance was from Justin Long, who shows up as Sheenie's brother. He's hysterical. One interesting thing that the director did for this movie is he used a lot of stop motion animation for their road trip transitions. So you would see strange things like claymation animals humping in the woods and cars driving on the highway. It kept the story going and it was just kind of like, what? It comes out of nowhere, but it keeps you in the story. It's something different and I kind of liked the use of that. Made it fun and it ties into the book covers. This movie has a lot of dark humor and camp, and you should not take your grandmother to see it. Only a few bits really justify the R rating, but I think they actually could have cut it back a little bit and then made it more accessible for teenagers to go out and see, because I think that that's really the target demographic that's going to enjoy this movie the most. Also, <laughs> Youth in Revolt has the funniest drug use I've seen in a while. Way better than the attempts made in It's Complicated and The Men Who Stare at Goats. I was pleasantly surprised by this movie. I didn't go in expecting a lot, and I thought it was pretty good. Maybe it's not great, it's not the best comedy I've ever seen, but it was pretty good, it was pretty amusing. I laughed a heck of a lot. This was way better than Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist. My husband was not a fan of this movie, but I laughed a lot. I guess I still find Michael Sarah charming in spite of his limitations. Visit us at hauntedflower.com for fantastic apparel, action figures, and collectibles. We have all your nerdy needs. Also, you can Google Haunted Flower to find our MySpace profile, Facebook fan page, and Rotten Tomatoes reviews. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.